Gorillas are massive, prehistoric pre like omnivores. They, they mostly eat plants but will occasionally feast on meat. And having seen gorillas in reality, they are terrifying. Uh, they say they only, they only grow up to 6.6 .6 feet tall, over 2 metres, but it looks like they are like 30 feet tall or something. Or like maybe not that big, but still it looks like if they stood on, on two legs, they'd be 10 or 12 feet tall at least. But apparently they're just 6.6 .6 feet tall. No ape alive today can beat the silver back gorilla which is a type of mountain gorilla and is also the largest type of primate alive today in terms of physical strength pound to pound even the mountain gorilla is not only the heaviest tallest and well you know oh heaviest and all that but it's also pretty small as well and it is the biggest overall. It's also the strongest. Stronger than chimpanzees, bonadoes, I think that's what they're called, and orangutans. Well, what if I t told you that there was a certain type of prehistoric ape that lived 300,000 years ago that was 25 times stronger than a gorilla? All right, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration made by scientists at least 10 or 3 times stronger than a gorilla would do. But still, modern gorilla strength is immeasurable. Imagine something bigger and stronger than a gorilla. There's only certain types of large animals alive today with the strength alike to a gorilla. Those include whales, elephants, uh, and that's it whales and elephants and it's always the mammals that are the strongest alive today no reptiles no birds no insects no nothing but that then it was the same but in a very different way at the same time the mammals look really strange and different and despite what i'm telling you this is not a gorilla ancestry instead this is related to an orangutan Orangutans are cute, tree-climbing, cuddly fables that grow to 4.5 feet tall, but are still stronger than the average human being. At least, I believe, someone said it was 4.5 times stronger than the average modern-day human being. That's the estimates for an orangutan. As for a chimp, they are five times stronger. As for a gorilla, from 10 to 25 times stronger. Even the females, which are the pretty small and around the same size of an average male chimpanzee, are still pound, per pound, pound for pound stronger than a male chimpanzee. Again, only slightly. But this creature is not slightly stronger than a gorilla. It is. The giant Gigantopithecus had many species attributed to its name. And it was found in a drugstore or, or decades ago. Its teeth and some of its jaw remains were found. Over time, many more jaws and teeth have been found. But that was the discovery of the first species of Gigantopithecus. Many more species attributed to the name Gigantopithecus also were found and living at very similar times, but none came nearly as big as Gigantopithecus black eye. Gigantopithecus black eye grew up to 10 feet tall or and from an average of 600 kilograms to approximately, now this is really controversial, 1,000 kilograms. I reckon something like 900 or 800 or 700 kilograms, but still massive. 
Some people even put it at 1,200 kilograms, aka 2,400 pounds. Either way, sci modern scientists have put the strength of Gigantopithecus around 25 times stronger than that of a modern gorilla. Now, let's look at the mo modern gorilla. This strength is absolutely immeasurable. Because of how strong modern day mountain gorillas are and silver back gorillas as well, it's immeasurable. Per every single species, type or gender of gorilla or race of gorilla, their strength is almost, if not, it is immeasurable. That proves how powerful it is. And no other ape but, a, but certain types of gorillas have their strength at almost too immeasurable. That's powerful, that. So moving on. The Gigantopithecus was absolutely massive, living alongside elephants that grew a lot more larger than the modern ones alive today. They also lived with tigers, which were around the same size as ones of today. They lived with a certain type of human species as well, called Homo erectus. Homo erectus may have actually hunted Gigantopithecus, but it's more common that the Gigantopithecus would be untouchable for Homo erectus. It's likely that they hunted creatures like baboons and Dinopithecus as well. Well, if Dinopithecus even, even lived alongside Homo erectus, which is certainly a possibility. Anyway, moving on. On this giant ape wasn't the only giant prehistoric ape that was very dangerous. Gigantopithecus, alongside many of its of its own species assigned to its name for giant. But another type of ape, which was a giant sized baboon the size of a large dog, which hunted our ancestors, Australopithecus, its name was Dinopithecus, and it was very powerful. You know how baboons, even though they're small size, could still rip your face off? Now imagine that. But on steroids, a giant baboon able to rip your face off. Now, imagine that again, but on steroids. Then you get the smallest type of Gigantopithecus. Put that on steroids, get a bit larger, 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 larger. Until Gigantopithecus black eye. The most powerful ape to have ever walked the earth. This strength is over immeasurable, which is a lot more stronger than a modern day gorilla. If I were those scientists, I'd put its strength as three to 10 times stronger than that of the modern silver back gorilla. But scientists put that even higher at 15 to 25 times stronger than a modern silver back or female gorilla. Any type of gorilla is 25 times stronger than. So yeah, that's a Gigantopithecus food. They would like, if humans ever tried to hunt them or go near them, they would likely throw them around like they are nothing. Baboons would also live alongside them, but be dwarfed in size. Same with small microscopic monkey-like creatures as well. Oh. Other creatures lived alongside Gigantopithecus, like giant-sized crocodilians that would rarely hunt Gigantopithecus. And other prehistoric prodigies, like prehistoric canids, that no longer exist today. Gigantopithecus went, around, went extinct around 100,000 years ago with its last species dying out due to overhunting by... Psych, you thought I were going to say overhunting by humans. Well, no. It was actually the beginning of a new ice age which killed them off. Because the ecosystems and territory froze, the common thing that they'd eat... Baboon? No, not baboon. Uh, bamboo. 
would die out in its area, Asia and Vietnam. Because of this, it would have nothing to eat. And very rarely, it would eat meat. But even this wouldn't fulfil its massive appetite and diet. And therefore, Gigantopithecus went extinct. Now, however, it's not all lost for the giant prehistoric like Titan real life King Kongs, as giant sized gorillas still exist today, like the Billy Ape, the gorilla, and the chimpanzee, and the orangutan as well. But all of them are just a mere shadow of what came before. Gigantopithecus was truly massive. It took out and destroyed almost everything in its way. But it wasn't humans or Homo erectus, or other types of apes or even elephants that killed it, but nature itself, revealing nature is the deadliest killer. Hopefully you enjoyed and please like and subscribe. It would help out this channel a lot. We're almost at 180 subscribers. Without a doubt, let's get out of here.